Well, nice and easy. Good morning and a warm welcome indeed. This is Peter with you on the Peter Private 99 service, free to air, of course, daily at 9 a.m. And uh, great to have you with me today on this Tuesday morning, September the 8th. Got a busy, busy day ahead of you. So you will need a pen and papers and you will need to focus your attention uh, because I've got five free bets on the line plus a feature bet, a feature bet at Newcastle tonight. And for those of you who are regular tuners into this winning dial, well, you'll know over the weekend that I gave you an absolute blinding weekend with Victory Angels, a free feature, a feature bet, which won at 16 to 1 on Sunday. One bet, one winner, 16 to 1 on Victory Angel. All that's available in the video vault. You can tune in. It's totally transparent. And of course, the previous day I gave you a less... Uh, Les Deviches, I think it was called at Navan, which won at 16 to 1 to 9 to 1, and that was also a feature bet. There was no feature bet yesterday, but I am going to give you this today. I'm not going to charge you for it. I'm going to give it you. It runs at Newcastle tonight, and I think I've got an outstanding chance of giving you another double digit winner with that one. I do have a Super Yankee for you today, a Super Yankee, uh, Lucky 31, whichever way you want to call it. I've got five free bets to tell you about. So I say that's in advance of this extra feature bet. I'll probably give you this feature bet in just a moment or two, so stay tight. But I've got a lot to get through. I've got five free bets, as I say. Uh, I couldn't make them into four for a lucky 15, a Yankee. So I'm going to go for a Super Yankee or a Canadian, whichever we're going to call it, or a lucky 31. So it's even more in your favour as information is just filtering through from one of my contacts up the north of England. Uh, I'm going to ignore that and turn my telephone over because I have my bets all in front of me here, written down with a pen and a, and a pad. So let alone all the modern technology, I've got it all as it should be. I've got a mug of tea or coffee. I've got a can of pop. And this is what's on my desk. I've got betting slips. And this is all around me and not rehearsed. And uh, I've got just about everything else as well. Some crazy things here. And it says, you're mad, bunkers off your head, but I'll tell you a secret, all the best people are. That's why I have a coaster with that on. That's a, I'm a big fan of Alice in Wonderland. Anyway, with all that in mind, and there's so much more on my desk, including in three computers, uh, I've got five horses to pass on to you. And I hope you're enjoying the club, that's for sure. Great day yesterday once again. Could have been amazing, couldn't it? First, second, third and fourth, but they all paid out each way. Even the fourth horse paid out each way and many bookmakers. A first, second, third or fourth. And it could have easily been the Fantastic Four, the Fab Four. And it's just a matter of time till I hit the big four and you get yourself a 5,000 to 1, 10,000 to 1 payday. It's not when, it's, it's, not, it's not if, it's when it happens. And on numerous occasions I've struck and it's just a matter of time before I hit four, which is a 5,000, 10,000, even 20,000 to 1 payout. Yesterday, I say the first bet of the day, Al Jalela won again at 6 to 1. A De Bruyne horse, I'm just looking here, came fourth, led until the final furlong as such, 11 to 1. The Warrior third at 10 to 1, and kick on, kick on, second at 15 to 2. I told you to back them all each way, put them all in each way, doubles, trebles, and accumulator, and all the lot framed all won. As I say, it's over 43% strike rate, my uh, tips, my advices, whatever you want to call them. My horse is 43% at an average price of seven to one and still the information comes through that I'm not interested in because I've got my horses already stamped and packaged for you. Even though information is coming through all the time, these are set in stone and all ready to go. And set in stone, of course, was another winner uh, that I gave you about 11 to one, wasn't it, last week, along with many, many, many others. Oh, Al Jalela did it really lovely for six to one yesterday and all the other three were framed and 43% is a pretty high strike rate to have on average price of seven to ones it results in a massive profit figure and it's all about calling daily and tuning in daily and not missing the day because the day you miss calling in and tuning into this channel the day you miss will be the day all four go in and you'll never ever forgive yourself so be sure you make a date with me each and every day and if you're not already subscribed to the channel subscribe it's free of charge press the subscribe button then press the alarm bell and uh, then that will give you the little list and you press notifications all and that will make sure you are reminded by YouTube officially uh, that I'm affiliate with because I've got so many followers, over 3,000 subscribers and you will not miss that big winning bet when it comes. That was a big winning bet yesterday, I think, for a pound each way. Lucky 15, it made £176 
profit once again. Right, so where do we start? Well, I've got that feature bet to tell you about in a moment, and I will come to that. Remember the feature bets. Uh, I'm going to give them free at the moment, and I'll continue to do so for as long as I can. But I'm going to start somewhere else for a moment because I do have five other horses to pass on to you that uh, need backing in singles, doubles, trebles, and your fourfolds and yakka. So maybe you have a Canadian, a Super Yankee, Lucky 15. I'm going to leave all that with you and you'll bet alongside whatever you want to do yourself. I'm just here to mark your card and bring you winners that no one else can. And uh, I'm just looking at the 9th of September is tomorrow. Yes, well, the 2nd of September, which was a week ago tomorrow, week tomorrow, I gave you Baltic State 11 to 2 and Glamorous Crescent 17 to 2, paying 50 to 1 the double. So that all goes well for tomorrow, so make sure you make a date with me at 9 o'clock tomorrow, whatever you do, because last Wednesday was a 50 to 1 double, and uh, I'm looking to better that even, so there we jolly well go there. Okay, so the 3.55 at Catrick, don't forget to bet number 3 here, it's called Lazard de Roo. I'm not sure if that's how you spell it, but uh, how you pronounce it, but Lazard de Roo. It's number three anyway, it's trained by Grant Tewer, written by Sam James. I'm not going to go into too much detail, there's no point. You know my strike rate, you know I know what I'm talking about. When this is in business, I've been in this business since I was 14 years of age. Done a lot. And what you're getting now is the benefit of experience. And as you go through life, supposedly, you're supposed to get better and more experienced and better at your trade as you go through life. And this is what you're experiencing now. Not a 17-year-old kid, 18-year-old would-be journalist. It's not that. This is someone who's been through the whole, whole shebang. From an odds consultant to a leading tipster to managing tipsters to sponsoring races all over the country to owning 14 racehorses, which one. You know, this is the real deal, what you're experiencing, and also betting very big personally alongside you as well. So this is the real deal, what you're witnessing that nobody, nobody can match. 50 years experience in the industry at the very, very, very top of the pinnacle. Simple, and it's true, and it's transparent. So what you're witnessing and what you're a part of here is something unmatchable and will never be matched. So it's impossible. So the reason why you're seeing so many winners is because for 40, nearly 50 years, I've been in this industry at the very top flight and my contacts and my experience is unparalleled that is guaranteed and that is why I'm still doing what I'm doing and why I have over 1500 views a day and over 150,000 views and 96% likes and that's what it's all about and that is what I'm trying to do to help you win. So number three, Lazardry Drew in the 355 at Catrick is the first bet of the day. Runs over five furlongs and I think it's got a great chance of a mark of 65. Runs in a 0 to 65, 355 at Catrick it's number three, Lazardi Drew. And a uh, funny name there. Hopefully the commentator can pronounce it a little bit better than me as it comes up to the line, hopefully in first place. Steps back to five furlongs today from six. And I think that will be the making of it. And I do like it a lot. It's number three, Lazar Drew. Each way, 3.55 at the Catrick Bridge there. Um, let's... I'm just looking here for a moment. I, I want to go back to the 140 at Catrick. For the second bet of the day, excuse me, got a bit of an itch there. The 140 at Catrick, where I'm, I'm really sweet on a horse wearing blinkers today, and I think that's the key thing. It's not wore blinkers since it's, well, it has worn them once since it last run, but the last time it won, it wore blinkers, and it's got them on again, it's got the blinds on again, it hasn't worn them for four outings, um, for five outings actually. Number four, anyway, it's called Fode, F O A D, Fode, F O A D, in the 140 at Catrick Bridge. Around about 11 to 2 to your money, Fode. Uh, it's trained by Mark Walford, ridden by Kevin Stott. Runs off a low mark of 58. I think it's got a great chance in this 0 to 60 handicap, grade 6. A lot of exposed types in this. Fode, for me, has a lot of progression still in it and a bit of potential. It's only three years old and got the blinkers on again, I say, got the blinds on. Uh, handicap to win. I think I'll take some stop in number four, Fode. 
is your second bet with the blinkers back on the key thing there and that runs in the uh, 140 at Catrick so I just check in my notes here it's a bit like hieroglyphics what I've got in front of me don't forget as I say I've got plenty more to give you three more free bets and and that free feature bet which uh, I'm, I'm unparalleled at as well for big prize winners and a part of this Canadian Super Yankee where I'll be coming up in a moment with three more for you. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up. It means a lot to me. Over 300, nearly 400 thumbs up a day now. And that's again unparalleled by anyone in this industry to get so many people enjoying the trip and enjoying the winners and enjoying that it's absolutely free of charge for you. And uh, that's unparalleled as well, isn't it? So uh, can't do any more than that, can you? And uh, all you can do for me in return right now is to give me a thumbs up. And if you do that, it means you you really like it, you want me to continue. And if you want me to continue, you're going to have to give me that thumbs up. And I want to see it rise and rise and rise. And I want to know that you're, you're out there and you're listening, but you're enjoying it. And you're having good winners. And I know you're getting them. And I hope you're backing them. But only back what you want to back. And don't uh, bet outside your limits ever. That's for sure. Right, the third bet of the day, I'm going to take you to Newcastle. So I'm, I'm in a quandary with to give you now. I'm going to give this feature bet in one moment, but I'm, I'm going to go to Newcastle for the 550. And I'm just going to bring it up to make sure they all run on my sheet. And uh, there's a very, very nice horse here. I think it's got a great chance here. It's number eight on your card. Uh, it's called Scott Sonnet trained by a banging form Jim Gould, who's returning to form. Uh, that's the key thing with this performance of number eight, Scott Sonnet today. Runs off a mark of 51. Same mark as last time uh, in this 0-60 uh, grade six, another poor race. You see, with me, I like the lower echelon races. I like the handicaps up the north. The, 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 you know, the, the, I'm not saying they're easy to win, but a lot easier to win than trying to back winners of grade ones and grade two races and, and, and even grade three. So you'll see where a lot of the horses I'm backing, I'm tipping, are in low standard races because they don't take that much winning, especially if they're well handicapped horses who have been hiding under a bushel, so to speak, or, or certainly can perform a little bit better when the hand breaks off big time. Uh, I think that's the same as what I'm saying here. Jim Goldie's form is returned to form now, and, and along with this horse coming down the weights, because a year ago it was running off at, well, a mark of 61. It's now off a mark of 51, and the horse is now trained by a banging form trainer. And when you put all that together, and the ground conditions are right, and the fact that it's stepping up in trip to a mile and a quarter today from seven furlongs, you start to see a pattern. You see, you're seeing a pattern. And I know it probably doesn't really interest you, but I'm just explaining. The reason why I'm getting such a high strike rate and backing so many big winners, and it's just building profits, building profits, is because it's all to do with patterns and synchronicity and understanding form and, and, and patterns of trainers and, 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 and ground conditions. It's Everything is all built in. It's not random, any of it. And whether they win or lose, it's not random. It's all in the plan. And uh, that's why you get horses win at 16 to 1 like Victory Angel, which should be about 6 to 1. But because there's no form to recommend it officially, they go off at a big price and it gets overlooked. And that's why you're backing so many big horses that are nearly winning if they're not winning. Because they are ready to win. They're coming to the boil and they are ready to strike. So I just want you to understand that, that uh, what I'm doing is a work of art in a way. Because I'm putting so many hours in, so many hours in. I'm 50 years of experience at, at locating winners that other people, it's impossible. So number eight, anyway, Scott Sonnet. That's the one I like there. Stepping up in trip, coming down in the weights, trained by a banging form trainer. It runs in the 550 at Newcastle. It's number eight, Scott Sonnet. It's your third bet of the day. And that is the uh, third bet of the day, isn't it? Third bet of the day. I'll give you this bet in one moment. I'm not trying to hold you up. I'm not. It's just I've got so much to go. I'll give you this. Uh, they're all important bets, not just this feature bet. I know you, a lot of people are loving these feature bets, obviously. But but they're all important. Yesterday, there was no feature bet, and all four horses collected and paid 170 quid for a quid each way. So everything's very important. Uh, but combined together, they all build up a really good profit. At the 5 o'clock at Catrick is a part of this Lucky 31 Super Yankee, and it's uh, number four. It's called Boulevard Beauty, trained by Tim Easterby, ridden by Joanne Fentiman, uh, running off a mark of 52, and it's 0 to 55, a handicap. And once again, you'll see it's a very low race, grade six race that I'm backing in. As I've just explained to you, I'm backing in low standard races, uh, and but with horses that have got potential and progression in them. So, you know, they're, they're sort of horses which 
a lot better than the form figures suggest and could actually blow these fields away. And that's what a lot of my horses do at big prices, uh, 14 to 1, 12 to 1, 16 to 1, uh, because they're ahead of the handicapper but just not had the right conditions or the right opportunity to show it. And uh, this one's again is another opportunity today, Boulevard Beauty, round right about 13 to 2, number 4, Tim Easterby. Ran okay last time at Pontefract and uh, off a mark of 54, dropped a couple of spots then, it was out the handicap. And I like this one today. Not going to go on too much more about this one. Number four, Boulevard Beauty is the next bet to tell you about there. Which leaves one more for your lucky 31 or Super Yankee, whichever way to play it. But I say, do back them individually in, in each way's singles like yesterday and your doubles and trebles. And now I'm going to just give you this feature bet, eh? And uh, I said, don't forget to give me that thumbs up, whatever you do. I, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely touched immensely by the love and my sharing is caring and all that, but I really am that you're taking time even just to press the thumbs up now, just press the thumbs up. It means a lot to me trying to get to 500 thumbs up. And, yeah, trying to build an army here together and trying to build a network and a, a, a brethren, a brethren. And I can only do that if you click a thumbs up. Because if you don't, it means I've got like 1,200 not thumbs up, even though you're not pressing thumbs down, and 300 thumbs up. And all it takes is a thumbs up. So it's not like, you know, you've got to go out and dig holes in the road, is it? You know, it's a uh, thumbs up, if you know what I'm saying. Right, where are we? Oh yeah, feature bet. Now let's go to the feature bet and then I'll give you the final bet of this uh, very busy day indeed. Uh, let's go to the, for, why not? Let's go to the last race of the night at Newcastle. The very, very last race of the night. And that's interesting, isn't it? By that time, hopefully, we've landed a real big touch today. But even if we've not, and I think we will, but even if we've not, hopefully this one will bail you out. And I don't, hopefully, that you're needing bail out, that's for sure, after these bets I've given you. This set of bets is very, very strong indeed. I'm trying to make sure I've got this right here. And it seems a bit wild what I'm doing here, but... Uh, no, I've got it right. I must apologise. I'm just looking down what I've got here. And so my, my notes are hieroglyphics I've showed you. It's just scribbles. Now, there's two horses in this race. Let's get to the point. Two horses in this race, in, in this 8.50. I'm backing them both individually, each way. They're both 10 to 1, 12 to 1. The last time I did this, I put it on a pay service. It was on a horse called Dance King and Thornton Care. Uh, Dance King won at 12 to 1, and the other one come third at 10s. Now, I'd be really pleased if that was to happen again, but I do fancy one of these winning, uh, and I can't split them. I could if I want to, but I'm not going to, because I wouldn't be surprised if either one won, and I'll be disappointed if they don't both really run huge races at big prices. So, coupled up together, it pays around 6 to 1 to your money or something like that. So, you know, if either one wins, you're going to be singing in clover, and uh, let me tell you what they are. Each way... Uh, I think one of these could well win here. Number five, it's called Sheep Scar Lad. Again, we're in a bottom race here, class six race. Once again, I'm sticking to the lower races, which a lot of people don't touch because they think they're all inconsistent and jades or whatever you want to call them, but not me. Number five, Sheep Scar Lad. Sheep Scar Lad, 8.50. And the other one I like in this, and uh, number 10, it's called Archimedes. Both these horses don't really have much form going from at the moment. And, uh, you know, but for me, they're, they're ready to strike. They're both well handicapped. They've both got things in the favour, tick, tick boxes. Uh, and I, I'm going to back them both each way. So that's a feature bet today where I'm backing two horses in one race, both each way, both can collect each way, both have an opportunity of winning. If either one wins, you come out with a big profit combined. And if one wins and one places like Dance King and Thornton Care did the other day, you double cop. You double cop. And also, Gab... Uh, a horse which won at 5-1 to one to 3-1. to one. Lucky, lucky man the other day. That was on the belt, the bookies line. And I predicted the second there, which paid an 8-1 to one forecast. That was another uh, a pair of braces bets or a pair of doves bets. But this one's a combination bet. Single stakes each way on both. Sheep's got a lad and Archimedes, number 5 and number 10. And they go in the 8.50 at Newcastle, which leaves one more bet to come. And it's the part of the Lucky 31, Super Yankee, Canadian, whichever way you want to call it. And it's the penultimate race of the day. That means the one but last, I think. And in the 7.50 tonight, I'm going to pass this on to you now. 7.50 at Newcastle. I say, give it a thumbs up. There's no belt the bookies bets today. I'm giving it all free today. The lot's free, even though we had a big winner yesterday, six to one and three big places. It's all free on the channel today. And the next time to call this line after I'll give you this bet will be at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So make a date with me then. 
and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well or you will be missing out on untold winners that's guaranteed okay so with all that in mind all that in mind i'm going to go to the 750 for an eight to one poke at newcastle on a horse that i think again has got an amazing chance it's number five it's called Trumpet's Call, trained by Rebecca Menzies, ridden by a good friend of mine, Paul Hannigan, who rode lots of horses for me in the past, personally, when he was riding for Richard Feist, which a lot. And number five, Trumpet's Call, is my idea of the winner in this one tonight. Although the horse has never ran on the all-weather, uh, I do believe it will act on it, and I do believe that Rebecca Menzies has got a form in, in, in outstanding team, in outstanding form. And this one, visa for the first time, and uh, number five, Trumpet's Call, thrown in potential of a mark of 61 in this 0 to 61 is a really big big price and a very very unexposed horse that can pop up so number five trumpets call is my final free bet of the day uh, i told you it was a busy message a lot going on i've given you a lot of free bets there a lot of action and a lot of goodwill coming to you from me uh, another big winning day to kick start the week yesterday and uh, there we go so it's a great pleasure to deal with you I want you to take care of yourselves, whatever you're doing today, and always bet within your means and all that. I know a lot of people tell you that, but it is true. Just don't get too carried away. Keep to the same system, similar stakes each way on all the horses, and it all just builds and builds up. And uh, when you connect a big double treble or get the fantastic four up, you will connect in a way that you've probably never connected before. Listen, take care of yourselves. Great to be with you. Great to deal with you. Absolutely free all the way. Free all the way. Give us a thumbs up. Go get them.